all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample right now so let's get straight to it So this sample is pretty simple, uh, but we're gonna break it down. All right, so I don't know why my stray light is bugging, but I started off in stray light right here, and I went with the nightmares preset, which is the like first preset that loads up when you open up the bank. And I can't show you right now, but I think I'm pretty sure I muted the grain because the grain is just like too much sometimes. And I just kept the sample. And I think I also adjusted the delay and the reverb because they are also like, can be kind of like over the top inside of this plugin sometimes. So if you're using stray light or ash light, definitely mess around with the two sound engines the grain and the sample and also mess around with the built-in effects inside of plugin because a lot of these sounds are like super like orchestral movie type sounds and can be like hella intense so if you just want to have a simple high quality sound for trap beats just turn down the reverb the delay and all these like knobs they got in here but it's tripping right now but it's pretty easy to find it i think you can find it all right so i had the sound inside of straight light and i made this pattern right here And really bro, I was just, I was kind of like beat blocked, I didn't know what to do, so I was on my little MIDI right here. So the MIDI doesn't work right now, nothing works today apparently, but I, I'm gonna show you here. So I was basically beat blocked and I was just trying out super simple counter melodies that I still found catchy, and I came up with this. You know, it's, it's very simple when you look at it in the MIDI, but when you listen to it, it's kind of like dark, catchy, 21 vibes, you know? So I stuck with that, uh, which are these notes up here, obviously. So after I had that little simple counter melody, I just added this little chord down here, which is a A sharp minor, except we removed the middle notes. So if we look at these three notes right here, it's a A sharp minor. So I just delete the middle note. So this one and this one hits at the same time, and then it lands on. Yeah, I, I basically added these chords down here, and here's what it sounds like together now. And I could, like, even though the first melody was pretty mi simple, like, very minimalistic, I could have added some notes here and made it more, like... I don't know how this will sound, but you know. So that was kind of, you know, I could have made some more to the MIDI, but instead of adding a bunch of notes, I liked how this sounded. And to make it full another way, instead of adding notes, I went into the mixer and I added a portal. I automated the dry knob right here and the preset is Nardo Seyan inside of a Lone Gut Hypnotized Bank. So instead of adding a bunch of notes, I automated a portal, the, like a pretty like intense portal preset. And here you can see the automation. So the black area is, is where it's off and the green is where it's on. So you get the idea, just a little tip, instead of adding a bunch of notes, you can leave a lot of space sometimes and just automate some cool, cool plugins. You can automate a portal, you can automate a shaper box, you can try out this Arturia version of portal. It's also a granular plugin, which is this one, FX Fragments. It's also pretty cool, but I prefer portal. Yeah, and the other effects I added was the effect track, a delay, limited delay right here, an EQ, this EQ right here. And a compressor, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so that's the first pattern. So it's a simple pattern, but you can sauce it up a lot with this portal automation. So don't sleep on automations. You can like really like change up the whole vibe and enough of the automation. Let's move on to the next sound right here. So the next preset that I add is, is this Shanghai Plucked Keys by Loner. And one second. Technicolor maybe? Yeah, and it's in the side of the loners and Kill September's Technicolor. I only have loner here because they don't allow me to put more text in here, or Arturia. But it's Technicolor by loner and Kill September. And it's the Shanghai preset right here. And here's the pattern. So basically I just added to add more textures and fill up the frequency spectrum or whatever. Yeah, here's what it sounds like. So yeah, pretty boring pattern, but it fills up the frequencies and it makes the sample sound more full. So I just follow the A minor chord right here throughout the melody without the 
minor note and yeah i just added a little eq right here you know not that interesting pattern but we're gonna move on to the next one the next sound is from Omnisphere Moog Tribute Library. I've been using this bag so much recently, bro. But it's a cool bag. It has some cool sounds in it. And uh, all their proceeds or whatever it's called. All their money goes to charity, bro. So it's a win-win. Go cop this shit, bro. Anyways, uh, the preset is solid. Live in deep bass. So it's a bass line right here. Following the root notes and then going up to the seventh uh, note of the A sharp minor chord to the F right here at the end. Nothing crazy. It's a perfect bass, bro. It's just so perfect, bro. Yeah, a little bouncy thing at the end, you know, just for some variation. And I added a little EQ right here to get the highs from the bass. So now we got these three sounds right here. The main melody with the portal effects, a analog lab just to fill out the frequencies, and the bass right here. <laughs> So there is barely any difference from just the first preset. So even though you barely hear the analog lab, you hear the bass obviously, but even though they're like there in the background, it adds a lot of energy to the whole sample. So yeah. So just some minor layering right here to add the energy to the sample so it doesn't sound so thin and stale. Anyways, now we're gonna add a really cool pattern. After the Omnisphere, I went to The Prince by Frank Dukes. This is not a factory preset, bro. This is a user preset. This is a user preset by Estrella Sounds, and it's the preset is called Mango. So you can go look up there, there, the Prince bank right here. This is basically a lead, and here's the pattern right here. You know, I've been using hella leads recently, uh, like repetitive, I don't know, all kinds of leads. Anyways, here's the pattern. Here's the pattern, it's very, very simple, it's just these three notes on repeat and then dragging out the F right here at every other bar just to give the lead a little break, you know, so I'm gonna show you how it sounds. And yeah, this is just one octave above from the previous part right here. But you know, using half steps just to make it sound darker, it won't, like if I pitch these down, or if I pitch these up to semitones, it won't sound as dark. You know, so half steps really, really help with the dark, dark sounding stuff. If you want to make spooky melodies, so that's, that's that. For the effects on the lead, I added a portal holler preset right here inside of the Distra 2 bank. Okay, after that, I added this EQ, boosting some of the highs, taking out some frequencies in the mid area and taking out uh, all the sub and bass frequencies. After that, I added a reverb, vintage Valhalla verb, and last, I added an imager and made the lead a little bit more wider. Wasn't there any phrases in this one? Alright, cool. And the last preset I used for this sample is the ambient reads inside of Omnisphere, and the bank is one of the sonic extensions. Uh, it's the undercurrent extension, and this is a key, it's very, very fire. Just listen to this. pretty intense so you can't like make too repetitive melodies with it you can just make it a little simple yeah like the sound is just super fire I stuck with the first selection right here, didn't do anything to it, just sounds perfect as it is, bro. And here's a very basic pattern. Simple pattern, but it's just a very beautiful sound, bro. The EQ and the effects, I start off with an EQ right here, took out some harsh frequencies here, took out a little bit of the highs right here. Effect track, refacing retro delay, so yeah, it's a delay. And finally, another compressor. And yeah, here's the final sample, there's all the sounds together. Thank you. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.